Kaukau Kazura Ramadan, born on 31st December 1994. I play table tennis and basketball. Table tennis is my main game. I'm on the, nat on the national team of Uganda. I've represented Uganda twice at the Commonwealth Youth Games in, in India, Pune 2008, and also in Cameroon at the All Africa Senior Championships in 2010. I'm playing for my university, Kampala International University, and last year I won the East Africa University Games. Today, the 24th of January, I just started my periods. I always get abdominal pains, my legs hurt, and I feel a little dizzy, even if I take painkillers. And tomorrow I'm having a national tournament. It's more like national trials for the All Africa Games. They'll be selecting a national team to represent Uganda. I think they'll be taking three ladies. At the sports center where we're going to have the trials, we have clean water, a ladies' changing room. So I'm just so confident. If I will need to change, I'll go and change without any problems and without any disturbances. So I'm ready for tomorrow and I now qualify for the games. Uh, and I always carry an extra sanitary pad whenever I go to train or even play a tournament. I first experienced my periods at the age of 16. Well, since I'd studied about it in primary and also high school, I knew it was a normal feeling, though I felt a little uncomfortable. I wasn't open to anyone. I even felt uncomfortable talking to my sisters. So I always used to save the money they would give me and I would buy sanitary pads without them knowing. <laughs> I was just shy. I just didn't feel like I could talk to them. I didn't have the courage to open up and talk to them about my experience. I believe that menstruation is part of a woman's life and a woman who doesn't experience menstruation that becomes a problem instead. I don't think menstruation is a big problem, but I think missing it. Personally, if I miss my periods, I think I would take that, I would make that a big deal. So um, I want girls out there to come out and break the silence. They should talk about it. They should be free so that the government and maybe different people can come up and help the girls in the rural areas who don't have sanitary pads, who lack clean water. This will help a lot. But I feel so bad that the girls in rural areas here in Africa, and during their menstrual periods, some of them decide not to go to school because they feel bad that they feel out of place. I would really like someone to come out and try to help these girls because they really need to study. I don't think periods should stop them from studying and achieving their dreams. Breaking the silence on menstrual management will help girls accomplish their dreams, not miss out on school. It will give them the confidence and it will make them feel feminine. I also call upon politicians in our country to make menstrual management one of their priorities.